there's an infinite number of ways to tell the story. Hey, I'm MJ, a.k.a. Victor Bang. I'm the engineer that awakened in this matrix about eight years ago. I explained that in my first documentary called The Big Bang Theory. To me, awakening is realizing we are spiritual beings having a human experience and seeing through the illusion of separation. I'm releasing the second documentary as an experimental docu-series called The Sequel. Each episode will include music from an album I'll be releasing called Legal Alien and chronicle the story as it continues. For those that haven't seen the first documentary, let me tighten you up real quick. MJ or Victor was born in Pensacola, Florida and studied mechanical engineering at Florida State University. After graduating and seeing more of the world, he questioned the root causes of the systemic issues on this planet. He found the root cause is spiritual ignorance. He thought a lot of human behavior is based on belief systems and he asked himself what would he believe is truth if he programmed himself from scratch with just nature and nothing man-made. Using just himself and nature, he went on an internal journey and realized we are spiritual beings having a human experience and saw through the illusion of separation. The culmination of this awakening was a broad daylight out-of-body experience in the Florida Everglades. Since that day, Victor has likened his experience of life like waking up in a dream. A dream where other dreamers are still asleep and unconsciously creating or having things created for them. A dream where we can take control and create better experiences for ourselves. I created the alias Victor Bang, it stands for Victory Over Noise, and started to document my journey and share this good news with others, since this is the root cause to solving our issues. As I gathered more data and interacted with more people, I wrote a short book called The 100 Degree Challenge to outline and summarize the logic and questioning that you may ask if you start your own spiritual journey. Since that documentary, I've been in and out of the country, learning, evolving, and helping to raise consciousness as best I can. Now we pick up the story after years in the field. I'm enjoying my time with my family here in Pensacola Beach before working on what you're seeing now. That's Tony Bravo right there with the alien beach towel. I didn't realize it until we were editing the footage, but that character on the towel is Marvin the Martian, a classic animated character that's also an alien. Even more fitting, I thought, since the soundtrack to this is called Legal Alien. Let's talk music, shall we peoples? I come from a musical family and made lots of songs with them, but like most of the music I've been producing over the decades, it's unreleased. Hey, I'm working on that. I just finished a new album called Legal Alien that's part of this series. A lot of this album was recorded in the field as the footage was being captured. Don't get me wrong, I love my family, but I noticed the rift between us as I became more spiritual. The family was religious and thought I was lost when I started questioning certain beliefs and rituals. They didn't like that I questioned or that I was quote unquote leaning on my own understanding. That rift grew as I continued to explore and evolve spiritually and it was challenging to get accustomed to the solitude. I used that time to work on my own healing and work on embodying unconditional love. It's tough but rewarding in a phase I found that many others also experience. I love my family no less though they have not been supportive. Everyone is not going to like or support what you do, that's life. Also, there is a time into an individual's spiritual awakening, and that journey is ready for them when they are. You can't force it. I made the choice years ago to see where this path leads, knowing it may be one of solitude. Mainstream news stories on aliens, UFOs, and life on other planets show the ideas of what is possible as expanding. That same news shows how we are closer to World War III than ever. We have a lot of futures to choose from, and the ones of higher consciousness and peace are just as viable. You just may not know about them or see their value. To keep the ever-shortening attention spans occupied, we use creativity to make this entertaining and enlightening. Each episode includes a story, music, and commentary. The soundtrack is the music you'll hear and most visuals are shot on location as the story unfolds. This shift in consciousness, individual and collective, is real, is happening, and we barely scratched the surface. Daily more and more people are exploring the idea of there being more to this reality in themselves. The question is, do we find ourselves before it's too late? Humanity has the potential to create a world of peace, a new timeline where we have the power to change the world and are doing it. We can be examples that we want to see and show that it's okay to question and think differently. Is this truly the best that we can do? On a planet where everybody owns nothing and everything is given freely, is this the best way to divide and share resources? The only way 1% can control 99% is that the 99% don't know their value. It's about taking back your power to create the reality you want to experience. Like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, it's been there the whole time, 
and the man behind the curtain is about to be exposed. This new territory is humanity's next phase and ultimately where we find our balance. My public display is only to remind you of the power already within you. That timeline I mentioned before exists or you wouldn't be seeing this. The more of us that connect to that potential, the more real it becomes. This episode is a salute to family. Get ready for a wild ride. I don't know where it's going either, so I'm strapped in also. And love y'all. The Truman Show is a reality show about Victor Bang, the engineer that awakened in this matrix and has been working behind the scenes to help enlighten and empower others. The sequel is his first docuseries, and Legal Alien is the soundtrack for it. The, the sequel script has started. Do you want to record now? Timeline synchronization completed. Parallel timelines locked. Reality yeah, expansion in process. Godspeed, Victor. Yeah, this is freestyle this morning, but we're going to try to try to catch it. Shout out to Jay Beast, man. Let's catch it then. T.Y. Yeah. yeah. You got a phenom on your head, yeah. man. He ain't going to do nothing to get better. That's true. That's true. All right, we're finna go in. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go. Shout out to Wakaba, man. I feel like an alien Sip a ship when I'm selling them But folks don't want here when I'm telling them I wonder if it's cause I got melanin Gave you free game what they selling them Exploring this thing like Magellan and Tell you the truth with some elegance Never forget like an elephant Shout out to T.Y. and Billy D The hang with the bang is really me I tell you the game how I really be How that self flow through my mini me Volunteer so I'm in Tennessee Riding the heart of the enemy But they can't bring down my energy Part of my brain got some synergy yeah. in the yeah. Bible Belt. Don't care what you felt, cause it's in the book, man. Yeah. It's been hijacked, you don't buy that, you just gotta look, man. Gotta look, man. In the kitchen, whipping white, that's right, I like to cook, man. Cook. In the verse I put down first, laid it on the hook, Kang. <laughs> Timeline synchronization completed. Par- parallel timelines locked. Okay, well, he, he got it taken care of. He already seen that part then. Thank you for the music. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you the war winner, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Stranger in the night. <laughs> I'm looking for the furniture. Uh, yeah, and Jesus. Oh, goodness. Well, ask him who he is, uh, ma'am, baby. Thank you. Daddy, oh. baby. Who are you? I gave forth for all was known, and I have remained the same. Can I at least get some water? You didn't answer, but we're not gonna open the door. Can I at least get some water? Wait! Wait! Yeah, a thief in the night. Can I at least get some water? No, honey. You tell Jesus, whoever that is at the door, that ain't no room for his clouds in here, okay? My seats for the clouds are in the sky. <laughs> Can I at least get some water? Can I at least get some water? 